Hey everybody! So it was requested a lot for me to do a My Mac Palette Collection, like what are the shadows in my Mac palettes, how I organize them, everything like that. So um, I am going to do that for you guys today. So the first thing I'd like to say before I begin this video is my hair. Um, I actually use zero heat at all to curl my hair today and I really love it. So I think I'm going to do this like all the time now because it's damage free. So it's going to help grow out my hair damage free and it's amazing. So if you guys want a tutorial on this, let me know in the comments and I'll definitely do one for you guys. And the second thing is to go ahead and enter my giveaway. I'll have an annotation right there, the entire video that you guys can click on and it'll pop up a different window and it won't take you off of this screen and you can enter it for a chance to win benefit and NYX Cosmetics. So I have two MAC palettes. Both of them are currently in the process of growing. Um, I have really fallen in love with MAC shadows lately. I've been using them every single day. I'll tell you guys my favorites out of each palette and stuff like that. I have a video about my top 10 MAC eyeshadows. I will link that down below, but this is a little bit different. So this is what my MAC palette looks like. I have two, like I said. I don't label them. I just kind of know what order they're in. I store them in a DVD rack that I got from the container store. I'll have the direct link to that down below. So I have a neutral palette and a color palette. So I'll first go over my neutral palette. So this is what it looks like. Obviously I have a lot of neutral colors because I like neutral. That's like what I wear most of the time. So. This is what it looks like, and I use these little labeler dividers. Um, I think they're like spice recipe labeler things. I don't know. You can get them at like any grocery store um, just to label spices and stuff. So I always use red for color. I mean, red for neutrals. I don't know why. That's just kind of how I remember it. So I'll go through. So this it's supposed to go like lightest to darkest, but obviously when I get two more, that will kind of throw it off. But that's okay. So I'll quickly go through these. First we have Brulee, which is a very nice cream highlight color. Retro Spec, and I like this one to mix it with anything, it just gives a nice shimmer to the lid. This is Naked Lunch, it's a nice pale pink. Jess, which is very similar to Naked Lunch except it's a little pinker than pale. And All That Glitters, which is a sparkly nude. The next row we have Woodwinked. Soft Brown, Sable, Bronze, and Mulch. Then in the last row we have Espresso, Satin Taupe, and Beauty Marked. So out of the top row, my favorite shadow has to be All That Glitters, even though Brulee is the best highlight color in the world. For pale girls like myself, um, I've just been it, like in love with all that glitters. I've been wearing it every single day. I'm wearing it today. It's just a perfect color for everyday wear. I love it. The second row, my favorite color would have to be Sable, which is this one right here. It is just so pretty and it really goes so incredibly nicely with um, all that glitters. They complement each other really nicely. They're just such beautiful colors. And then the last row has to be Satin Taupe. I love Satin Taupe. And then my next palette is my color palette. This one is very tiny and I wish it was bigger. I wish I had more. But I just don't wear color that much. But ever since I started getting MAC color shadows, I have. So this first one is Sweet Lust. Then we have Digit, which is a really pretty light milky purple. This is Girly. Then Expensive Pink and Tracks. So all of these are meant to bring out light colored eyes like blue eyes and green eyes. So that's why I only have these as my color ones and also like I said I'm not that big of a color person. And these I always label with blue. I, I don't know. I just like color to go with blue and then neutrals to be red. It's just kind of the way that I label. So that was all of my MAC palettes. I will definitely be doing a lot of updated videos on these um, because obviously it's going to grow a lot and yeah. 
So um, that is all that I have to say for this video. Click right there to enter my giveaway, and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye.